Okay, so we're going to grade the basic skirt block. So we've got a block pattern here. And around the body, we're grading five centimetres. That's how much growth there is between one size and the next. So this is our body. One quarter of our pattern is in there. If we've got five centimetres around the body, we need to divide that five by four. Divided by four to give us the amount for each quarter area. And that is 1.25 centimetres or 12.5 millimetres. Okay, so that's the amount around the body that we have to grow. And we don't just add it all onto the side seam or the centre front. We have to distribute that growth the way the body is actually increasing or decreasing in size. So to do that, we're going to use the move method here, movement method. And to do the movement method, we start off by putting in X and Y coordinates. So negative X to the um, left-hand side, positive X to the right, positive Y, Y to the sky, negative Y down to the earth. So we've got our whoop, set up here. I've got my X axis, my Y axis. I've traced out the size 10 block and then I've divided up in this little grid here and here the amounts that I'm going to grow. So remember I said 12.5 millimetres for a quarter of the garment. That means between the centre front and the side seam we've got to grow 12.5 and we're going to divide it up so that we get some growth between the first dart and the centre front, the second dart and the centre front, and between the second dart and the side seam. The amounts that we're growing are three to the first dart, three to the second dart, and then 6.5 to the side seam. So adding all of those together gives us 12.5 millimetres. The length, we're going to increase from the hip to the waist 6 millimetres and from the hip to the hem 3 millimetres. So overall our length will increase 9 millimetres. Okay. So I'm going to now line up my skirt block with the x-axis and the y-axis. My first move is going to be in a negative x direction, 6 millimetres, to increase the height or the length between the waist and the hip. And I mark out that first little section. My next move is to mark out the first dart. So I've already moved up 6 and now I'm going to move out towards the side seam, 3 millimetres. And I need to make sure that it's an even amount all the way through to the centre front. Mark out the top of the dart. It looks like my pencil's, my pen's drying up now. And the dart drill. The second dart, another three, still maintaining the length. And the top of that dart. And drill hole and then the last little bit is to the side seam. So I'm still maintaining the length at six between the waist and the hip and then this corner here. For the hip area I'm going back down to the um, starting point on the X, still maintaining the width on the Y and then from the hip to the hem, I need to grade three millimetres, maintaining that width of 1.25 or 12.5 millimetres. And then right back to the centre front of the hem, maintaining the length increase. So when I take my block away, 
you can see that there's a little bit of growth between the original and the graded size at the waist, here at the side seam, at the hem, there's width and length as well. The darts have also been graded and they're on a slightly different position. So that's the front movement method.